Technology comes from the Greek and Latin roots embryo and logos. And it stands to study the phenomena of a single self's development through all nine months. And where specialized cells gather together and where develops and multiplies and different cell cells creating a differentiation with an amazing integration in which becomes eventually investigation on molecular, cellular, and structural factors which provides formation of an organism such as a new human being. These studies are important because the knowledge create strategies to care for the body. Increase and gives away a better understanding of results and new techniques for diagnoses, treatments, therapies. So many kinds of problems in where science can improve and bring contribution to better outcomes. Furthermore, all this knowledge and where molecular and cellular factors becomes a potential development to get to know adult diseases such as cardiovascular disease and so and so ramificating both and the short term and long term many paths to study the embryology into the field of healthcare professionals. Development begins with fertilization. Like we said, where two gametes, the male from one side and the female gamete on the other side, which is the sperm and the oocyte unite 
providing a zygote. Gametes are from primordial germ cells formed in epiblast at the second week moving to the womb of job sac. These cells begin to migrate around the fourth week from the job sac to the gonads under development where by the end of the fifth week are there. Mitotic divisions brings the arrays of their number during their migration and when they arrive also at the level of the gonad. Preparing for fertilization, germ cells go gametogenesis, including meiosis, reducing the amount of chromosomes and cyto differentiation to mature cycle can be completed. The new individual I are determined by genes, chromosomes from the father and mother, which are 35,000 genes on 46 chromosomes, which one side of genes on same chromosome gives inherited together and so are known as linked genes. Somatic cells, chromosomes, chromosomes appear as 23 homologous cells, pair of cells, to form a diploid number or 46. 22 pairs of matching chromosomes autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. If sex pair is XX, the individual is genetically female. If pair is XY, the individual is genetically male. One chromosome of each pair comes from a maternal gamete the O side and one from the father side, the sperm. Haploid H1 of Degamates has, which is the number of 23 chromosomes, and United, this gamut is called fertilization, restoring this way the diploid number of 46. Mitosis, being a process when one cell divides, giving rise to a two daughter cells identically, genetically, to the parent cell, 
receives the complete complement of 46 chromosomes before a cell enters mitosis, replicates its deoxyribonucleic acid, in which this replication, during this replication phase, the chromosomes are very long. through the nucleus and easily cannot be recognized with a light microscope. By the onset of mitosis, chromosomes, oils, contract, condense, marking the beginning of prophase, consisting in two parallel subunits, chromatids, joined at a narrow region, called the centromere. During metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the equatorial plane and their double structures are clearly visible, attached by microtubules from the centromere to centriole, forming the mitotic spindle. Very soon, the centromere of chromosomes will divide, making the beginning of anaphase, which migrate chromatids to poles of the spindle, opposite poles. During telophase, chromosomes uncoil and lengthen. Nuclear envelopes reforms, cytoplasm divides, and each daughter cell receives half of all doubled chromosome material, maintaining the same number of chromosomes as the mother cell. Meiosis a cell division taking place in the germ cell which generate male or female gametes, respectively. Meiosis will go in two cell divisions, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, to reduce the number of chromosomes to haploid number 23 male and female, as in mitosis, germ cells. At meiosis 1, replicate their DNA, then each of the 46 chromosomes duplicates into sister chromatids. Contrasting mitosis, homologous chromosomes align themselves in pairs. This process is called synapsis. Pairing exactly and point for point except for the X and Y combination. Stem pairs then separate, giving two daughter cells, reducing the chromosome number from diploid to haploid. 
and then meiosis 2 separate sister chromatids each gamete by then contains 23 chromosomes the crossover is a very important super important event in meiosis 1 because it's the interchange of chromatid segments in between pair homologous chromosomes. Segments of chromatids break and are exchanged as homologous chromosomes separate. As this separation is happening, points of interchange temporarily unite forming an X-like structure or chiasma approximately 30 to 40 crossovers one or two per chromosome and we are saying that with uh, each meiotic first division or between genes that are apart from each other on a chromosome and becomes a result of meiotic division. The genetic variability enhances through crossover, which is a redistribution of the genetic material, randomly distribution of homologous chromosomes to a daughter cell. And where the germ cell has an eye plot number of chromosomes, and that a fertilization deployed, the deployed number of all six is restored. During meiosis, one primary oocyte gives four daughter cells each with 22 plus 1 X chromosomes only one of these develops from a mature gamete Still, the old side, the other three, the polar bodies, receive little cytoplasts and degenerate during development. In the same way, a primary, one primary spermatocyte gives raised to four daughter cells, two with 22, one X chromosomes, and two with 22 plus one Y chromosomes. Genesis is a process where Ogonia differentiates into mature oocytes. The maturation of oocyte begins before birth. 
when the primordial cell germ arrives in the gonad of female differentiates into all gonia undergoing number of mitotic division at the end of their month become arranged in clusters surrounded by a layer of epithelial cells all the ogonia in one cluster derive from a single cell the flat epithelial cell known as follicular cells which originates from the surface epithelium covering the ovary. The, most of the ogonia divide by mitosis, which continues dividing by that. Some of them arrest their cell division in prophase or meiosis 1 and form primary oocytes where in the few months ogonia increase very quickly in number by the fifth month in the prenatal development total number of germ cells in the ovary reaches their very maximum some sort of like seven millions and during this time cell death begins and the ogonia and many ogonia in primary oocytes Degenerate and become arthritic. By the seventh month, the majority of Ogonia degenerate except for a few near the surface. The surviving oocytes, primary oocytes, enters prophase of meiosis 1 surrounded by a layer of flat follicular epithelial cells most of the time a primary oocyte with its flat epithelial cells gets the name of primordial follicle The maturation of oocytes continues at poverty. At the time of birth, or very close to it, the primary oocytes have started prophase of meiosis 1. But instead of continuing to metaphase, they enter the diplotin stage, which is a resting stage during prophase, which is characterized by a lazy network of chromatin. This state of arrested state is produced by oocyte migration inhibition where a small peptide secreted by follicular cells takes place. The amount of primary oocytes at birth is uh, 60,000 to 800,000. 
during childhood, most all sites become athletic. 40,000 are present by the beginning of poverty. Fewer than 500 will be ovulated. All sites mature late in life. And which uh, reach the maturity late in life means that they have been dormant in the diplotin stage on the first meiotic, meiotic division for 40 years or more before ovulation. Diplotin stage Sweets a phase protecting the oocyte against environmental influences probably of unknown causes. Having children with chromosomes abnormalities increase with maternal age, which indicates the primary oocytes are vulnerable to damage at that age. During puberty, Growing follicles is established and are maintained continuously from supplying of primordial follicles. Each month, 50 to 20 follicles selected begin to mature, passing through three stages primary or pre -entro second, dairy or antro, and pre-ovulatory. The antro stage is the longest, whereas pre-ovulatory stage finds approximately 37 hours before ovulation happens approximately 37 hours before ovulation. And then, as primary oocyte starts to grow, surrounding follicular cells change from flat to cuboidal and proliferate, producing stratified epithelium of granulosa cells. The unit is called primary follicle. Granulosa cell rests on a basement membrane separating them from surrounding ovarian connective tissue, which is this stroma cell, from the theca folliculi. Also, granulosa cell and the oocyte secrete a layer of glycoprotein on the surface of the oocyte, which is the zona pellucida. Continuing follicles growing, cells of theca folliculi organize in inner layer secretory cells. Teca interna and outer fibrous capsule, the teca externa, small finger like process of the follicular cell extends across zona pellucida, gathering with microvilli of plasma membrane of the oocyte transporting materials from follicular cells to the oocyte. Fluid-filled spaces appear 
between granulosa cells forming antrum. And the follicle is termed a secondary, which is vesicular follicle. The antrum is crescent shaped to start, but with time becomes larger. Granulosa cells surrounds the oocyte remaining intact, forming the cumulus ophorus, then matures the secondary follicle, 25 millimeters or more in diameter, surrounded by the enteca interna, composed of cells, of uh, steroid secretions rich in blood vessels and teca externa merges with ovarian connective tissue and where each ovarian cycle begins with a number of follicles to develop usually one reaches full maturity when we were saying the other degenerate and becomes a theoretic then when secondary follicles mature Start in luteinizing hormone, inducing pre-ovulatory growth phase. Meiosis one is completed, resulting in formation of two daughter cells, equal in size, with 23 double structure chromosomes. One cell. The secondary oocytes receives the cytoplasm, the other becomes the first polar body, receives nothing. When the first polar body between zona pellucida and the cell membrane lies, And on the secondary oocyte in the perivalent space, the cell then enters meiosis second. Meiosis second is completed if the oocyte is fertilized. Otherwise, the cell degenerates in 24 hours after ovulation. This uh, polar body might go on second division. Spermatogenesis, a maturation of sperm, begins at poverty. Begins at poverty. It is a transformation into spermatozoa at birth germ cells in the male infant can be recognized in the sex cords of the testes large pale cells surrounded by supporting cells derived From the surface epithelium of the gland in the same manner as follicular cells.
y comen sus tentacular cells, Sertoli cells, which are also called. Before puberty, sex cords becomes a lumen and becomes the seminiferous tubules. Almost at the same time, give rise to spermatogonial stern cells. Because spermatogonial stem cells at regular intervals, cells emerge from this stem, forming type A spermatogonia. Marking the initiation of a spermatogenesis, undergoing limited number of methodic divisions, forming clones of cells. The last cell division produces type B spermatogonia, dividing to form primary spermatocytes, entering a prolonged prophase 22 days followed by rapid completion of meiosis 1 and formation of secondary spermatocytes. During the second meiotic division, the cells right away begin to form haploid spermatids. By such events from the time Type A cell leave the, the stem cell population to formation of spermatids. When cytokinesis is completed, the cell generations are joined to cytoplasmic bridges. Progeny of single type A spermatogonium becomes a clone germ cell maintaining contact throughout differentiation. Spermatogonia and spermatids embeds in deep recess of certain cells as they develop. Cellulis cells support and protect germ cells. Participating in their nutrition. Releasing mature spermatozoa. Spermatogenesis is regulated by LH production by pituitary gland binds to receptors or latent cells, stimulates the stuterum production, turns bind to Sertoli cells, promoting spermatogenesis, follicle-stimulating hormone, essential binds Sertoli cells, which stimulates testicular fluid production, synergizing of intracellular androgen receptor proteins. Spermiogenesis Series of changes transforming spermatids into spermatozoa is spermiogenesis. And is the formation of the acrosome covers half of the nuclear surface which contains enzymes to assist in penetration of the egg and its surrounding layers during fertilization, condensation of the nucleus, formation of neck, middle piece and tail and shredding and shedding of most of the cytoplasm. Residual bodies that are phagocytized by Sertoli cells. In 
humans the time required for a spermatogonium to develop into mature spermatozoon is uh, 74 days and 300 million sperm cells are produced daily.